From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. And good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on your MTN statewide news on this Friday. I'm Andrea Lutz. New at noon and breaking roughly an hour ago. Football programs at the University of Montana and Montana State University will neither participate in a Big Sky Conference spring championship season. But each say there is the potential to play a modified non-conference spring schedule. The Grizzlies and the Bobcats were set to participate in a six game spring season starting in February. Now neither team will be eligible for spring FCS playoffs. Both Montana schools now look to develop a schedule for up to two games falling in line with the traditional spring practice. Opponents and dates are yet to be determined. Regarding the decision, each school also citing the pandemic. We'll have full coverage on this breaking story tonight on our 530 and of course more details online. Lewis and Clark Public Health says COVID-19 vaccination clinics for people in phase 1B will be ready to go for next week. The two clinics are those for the first tier, meaning county residents 70 and older and healthcare workers included in phase 1A. The two drive through clinics will be at the Lewis and Clark County Fairgrounds on Tuesday and Wednesday from 1 until 6 p.m. A maximum of 450 vaccinations will be administered on each day, but remember those who are eligible have to pre-register. We have approximately 8,700 eligible residents in our community, and we have a limited vaccine supply at this time. So you can imagine having 8,700 people in line and only 450 doses available that day. So we do want to do this as fairly and equitably as possible. And the Rocky Mountain Development Council has a call center for seniors looking to sign up. You can find that number right there listed on your screen. Meanwhile, in Mar County, three families have lost homes in a rash of fires that plagued the county. Two of those homes were damaged due to high winds, while a third home was destroyed by fire. Several buildings lost roofs and siding and were toppled over Wednesday in that extreme wind. Cities across the state are still restoring power after the week's massive wind storms. Showdown ski area will be closed for a second day today. A release from the resort says the closures are due to a power outage and crews continue to work to restore power to that area. Of course, we're checking in on the weather and seeing if that wind has finally died down. We're going now to Miller Robson with a look. Miller. Well, good afternoon, Andrea, and happy Friday, TGIF, everyone. Uh, yeah, we've got snow moving in. Let's take a look. Live look right now. We do have some snow coming into the northwest corner of the state. You can see where that blast of energy is coming in. That colder air is settling in. So Kalispell at 29, Missoula at 27. Definitely in the higher elevations, we're seeing the snow. This, as this blast of energy makes its way through, this will sink to the south and off to the east. Uh, pretty much the entire state here in Montana and northern Wyoming has a chance to get a little bit of rain and maybe some snow uh, all the way through tomorrow morning. But this is not the bigger snow event. There's a better chance Sunday into Monday to see some snows, uh, snowfall. We're going to give you some totals, different models. We'll show you that with the main forecast coming up. Andrea. All right, Miller, thanks for that. Well, Governor Greg Gianforte hopes to move forward with a series of new tax cuts. He's looking to reduce the state's top marginal tax rate under his proposal. A person bringing in $50,000 a year would save $47 on taxes. The move would reduce the state's tax revenue by $28 million a year. Governor Gianforte also wants to completely eliminate property taxes on business equipment and reduce property taxes for low-income households. Supporters say these moves will attract more businesses to the state. It's not the only factor, but it's definitely a factor. It's really all about how do we how do we make Montana a more competitive place to attract business and therefore attract jobs and economic growth. Detractors from the governor's new tax cut plan say cutting down state revenue significantly puts more pressure on local governments and taxpayers to fund things like schools and infrastructure. Well, if you want to get a jump on your taxes, you can now with the Internal Revenue Service's free filing service. It is open. The government agency works with private companies to help Americans prepare and file their taxes. The service is available to those with an income of $72,000 or less. Even though it's free, a government audit found 14 million people ended up paying for their 2019 filing. The IRS says it's 
trying to make it easier for people to file and find free resources. A 10 year old Billings girl is going viral for her response to the Capitol riots in D.C. Emma Jablonski saw video of D.C. officer Daniel Hodges being crushed as he tried to defend the Capitol from that mob. So the fourth grader at Meadowlark Elementary decided to write him a letter and her parents put it on Twitter. It quickly gained quite the response, even from the police department, that Officer Hodges would be okay. They even put Emma in contact with him, so now her letter is on its way to D.C., and now it's also all over the Internet. Emma's parents say they've received nothing but love from people all over the world. We're hoping, we're hoping that it inspires other families, other children to to do those little acts of kindness and that it really does make a difference. Well, that's a very touching story. We'll have a little bit more on our website for her and that story. Well, several members of Congress wanted to award the Congressional Gold Medal to U.S. Capitol Police officer who kept the rioters out of Senate chambers just last week. Officer Eugene Goodman lured them away from unguarded chambers while lawmakers were debating an objection to Arizona's electoral college vote count. The bipartisan bill says Goodman was the only thing standing between the mob and the Senate, and his actions saved lives and defended democracy. National Guardsmen from Montana will also be on hand for next week's inauguration in Washington, D.C. Governor Greg Gianforte announcing 150 of the state's soldiers will be used to support D.C. area National Guard and federal law enforcement agencies. Major U.S. airlines are trying to prevent violence on Inauguration Day starting tomorrow. Five airlines say passengers going to the Washington area won't be able to put guns in their checked bags. That includes Delta, United, American, Southwest, and Alaska Airlines. American also not serving alcohol on flights going to and from Washington. The ban will run through January 23rd. It's been months since the Bozeman School Board announced Superintendent Bob Connors was placed on administrative leave pending a performance review. MTN News reached out to the Board of Trustees Chair Sandy Wilson, who says trustees are working on a resolution with Connors, who is currently still the superintendent. Wilson says that she can't give any more information other than the board is trying to be as transparent as possible with the public, and they hope to have a resolution on all of this soon. In just a couple of days, we will be celebrating Martin Luther King Jr. Day. While well, the federal holiday commemorates the birthday and legacy of the civil rights leader. Montana State University, the Black Student Union, and the African Students Association wants to give everyone the opportunity to celebrate through a virtual event that's happening today. It's online, though. It already started at 1130 this morning, but it does run until 4 this afternoon. And there is more information online regarding what all is planned. Okay, we have more news ahead on this Friday version of the new news, including how the small community of Anaconda is attracting tourists in a big way. So pack up those bags. You're probably going to want to stay here. But first, Miller Robson is in next with a look at that weekend weather forecast.